We're talking to Ms. Greenlee and uh, Mr. Jordan, and the uh, topic is the organization that Mr. Jordan is the uh, founder and uh, CEO, uh, Partners in the Struggle. And of course, Mr. Jordan, I think we promised that we'd give you an opportunity not only to uh, talk about uh, the organization Partners in the Struggle, but to uh, talk about uh, some of the, your experiences dealing with this particular organization and what you would like to see happen in terms of making you more effective in doing what you're doing. Well, first of all, as far as making the organization effective, I think the families who loved ones have been murdered, they must come out and be active. Mm -hmm. They must be proactive, they must be vigilant, and they must be steady in keeping the memories, the memory, mm -hmm. alive of their loved ones who have been murdered. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I say that is you have a lot of families who right now have been affected by murder within the last two weeks. Okay. Uh, Denise Brown, uh, Mr. Ping at Tennessee State University, mm -hmm. his family, mm -hmm. um, and Natalie Madison. Uh, mm -hmm. who was murdered in Lytton Apartments. These are families who loved ones have been murdered, yeah. and now it's time mm -hmm. to get out and act on what can we do mm -hmm. to stop this murder, the murders, and the gun violence that is so senselessly mm -hmm. struck in these families. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of the most serious situations that, that, that hit me was, you know, when Denise Brown was murdered, mm -hmm. 15 years old, uh, was in the prime of her life, mm -hmm. and her life was snuffed out. Mm -hmm. um, the young man who committed this, this, this act, you know, was a young African-American male. Mm -hmm. um, and you have two sides of the family who are going to be mm -hmm. devastated Good. by the murder, the perpetrator, and the family, mm -hmm. you know, which That's is Denise, right. who mm -hmm. um, is no longer here. We, 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 must, we must unite together and to stop this thing. Mm -hmm. It's going to take all of us. Mm -hmm. It's going to take all of us. Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh, Ms. Greenlee, you came out and then became a part of uh, the uh, organization Partners in the Struggle as a result of uh, Mr. Jordan. Why don't you talk about how you became involved in this organization? Well, early on I was saying, um, you know, I, I've kind of noticed early on in the early 70s all the violence was going on. Uh, it, it wasn't as serious as it is in the early uh, 2000s. But recently, you know, it had been coming so potent with me, these killings. Mm -hmm. and, and every morning I had, but back in the early 2001, I really started noticing how the killings were just getting rapid, you mm -hmm. know. And it was my young black kids. Mm -hmm. You know, all of them out there are really my kids. Mm -hmm. And I used to wonder, like, and I used to tell my mom, man, I'm getting wet in the morning at 5 o'clock, I don't even want to turn the news mm -hmm. on to see what the weather going to be like, so mm -hmm. I know how to dress. That's the reason I would turn the news mm -hmm. on, not knowing every time I turn the news on, I'm going to see some young man there that, that's mm -hmm. laying out in the street with a tennis shoe over here because mm -hmm. they had their blank brain shot out. Mm -hmm. And I used to want to have a son that was really struggling out there with the crime, the drugs, and the fast money lifestyle, mm -hmm. and I was trying to, like, let him know about you live that lifestyle, you're going to die that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Never knowing that one day I turn the TV on and see would it be my son. Mm -hmm. But fortunately, December 8th, 2003, I didn't get to turn the TV on mm -hmm. that morning at 5 o'clock like I always do. I was awakened out of my sleep from a phone call from my uncle mm -hmm. telling me that the son that I didn't want to uh, see on the news was mm -hmm. uh, rushed to Vanderbilt Hospital yeah. with mm -hmm. a gunshot wound to his head, mm -hmm. well, to his neck. And mm. that right there itself, it was 2 o'clock, so I had three more hours to mm. turn the 5 o'clock news on. Mm. And, and that would have been my devastating moment mm -hmm. of my time to click that remote. Mm -hmm. Out from that day on, that's where I became uh, partners in the Partners Good. of the Struggle, mm -hmm. simply because um, Brother Earl, he saw that on there, and, and he said so clear that, 12 days before that, he mm -hmm. saw me on TV mm -hmm. feeding the homeless mm -hmm. with my organization, mm -hmm. Galaxy Star. And 12 days later, he saw me on there angry about who killed my son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, he got in touch with me. And, and I said to everyone that know mm -hmm. me, no, if it wasn't for Brother Earl Jordan mm -hmm. and his organization, I wouldn't be sitting here. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have handled this as like I am now. Mm -hmm. And he have allowed me to voice my opinion. Mm -hmm. He have allowed me to go with him places and mm -hmm. tell him how angry I am and, mm -hmm. and why you guys are not angry. Where are everybody, mm -hmm. you know? I, I condone the parents. And, mm -hmm. and, I, and now I can say I know what you feel. Mm -hmm. See, uh, Rodriguez was my only child. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any more kids to love. Mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. and, and I know it hurts and, and I don't know what the parents are really feeling but I need mm -hmm. some of these parents mm -hmm. to get up mm -hmm. 
mm. come out and stand up. Now, early on, I did say, if you don't want to speak out, just stand behind me, mm -hmm. and yeah, I'll be your out. voice. Good, right? And mm -hmm. he's, he know that, and he repeats that a lot to the parents. Mm. Uh, it don't have to be the mother. It could be an angry auntie, mm -hmm. an angry grandmother, or mm -hmm. uncle, mm -hmm. or granddaddy. I need some more voices mm -hmm. standing behind me, because mm -hmm. I'm fed up with this, and it's not going to stop. Mm -hmm. And the police and the media is not going to stop. And I'm mm. not blaming them. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, us mothers and us dads mm -hmm. and granddads right. and grandmothers, aunties, mm -hmm. we have to stop this. I am really angry about my son, or better yet, uh, my son's murderer is free. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he's still running around out there to do mm -hmm. that to somebody else mm -hmm. because did nobody step up to the plate to have him convicted? I didn't have enough evidence to have him convicted. I don't mm. know what happened right today. Mm -hmm. System failed. The system failed. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I will always be where he asked me to mm. be, and I will always speak out and still let them know all of these kids that done got killed after my son. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I just have to say this right quick. Before um, it was time to come to your show. I mm. went to Greenwood Cemetery to talk to my son. Mm -hmm. And once I got there, I, I barely could find his spot because it's covered with so many. Mm -hmm. It was not that many mm -hmm. spots out there when mm -hmm. we went out there in December. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I looked and I'm like, oh my God, look at all of these extra kids. Mm -hmm. And that's all they were, kids. Mm -hmm. And I, I just pretty much cried all the way back to the studio. Mm -hmm. just, uh, just to think of all of those children yes. that are being murdered. And, mm -hmm. and it's like I couldn't even find my son's spot. It's just mm -hmm. a blessing. I took a picture mm -hmm. and put on my son's spot when, mm -hmm. I, when it happened. But it's just the point of I saw all of those rank grays and flowers. And what, now one of them 60, mm -hmm. 50. Mm -hmm. them, they were mm -hmm. 14, 25, mm -hmm. 19, mm -hmm. 21. Mm -hmm. It's scary and it done got out of hand. Mm -hmm. And we need some help here. Mm -hmm. This man had this kind of organization and this kind of time and this kind of heart mm -hmm. to sh support people like us. Show mm -hmm. to God we could get up and stand and fight mm -hmm. for what he believed mm -hmm. in and help stop mm -hmm. some of this homicide. And not, we not, are the one can not do Not it. only the mothers, just anybody who might be in, in, in any way connected with those young right. people because mm -hmm. they they're, they left a memory yes. here and somebody ought to be concerned about yes. them. Yes. Uh, I heard, heard a young lady on uh, the radio, 880, and she was saying, what we need to do is get our kids back to the dining room table. Mm -hmm. That means you take that house shoe or that little shoe and you spank them mm -hmm. and you could be the next door neighbor, mm -hmm. but it's time for all of us mm -hmm. to get back and mm -hmm. raising our kids, mm -hmm. not just the ones who live in that house. The mm -hmm. down the street neighbor needs to step up now. Very good. And of course, let me uh, take this second commercial break after which we'll uh, talk about some other things. And we'll be back with you following this uh, second uh, very, very short commercial break. Is partners in the